This is the first look at the Rogersville Fire Department. It's still getting built. So I'd say it's right at about 90, I'd say 90%. Won't be long. If you can hear but I got this equipment right over here working making the noise right there but it's looking really good getting closer and closer to being finished well I like that hard hit look at that I had one look about like that yeah this will be where they parked the fire trucks would you look at that that is a pole that is a pole people they got a pole how about that? You the pole installer? Yes, sir. Man, is it brass? It's brass. Ain't that fancy. That's where they sleep, so they jump up and they hit that pole. Come down here and set themselves up ready to jump on the truck and take off. Hot dog. A real pole. Boy, you can't be no fat fireman and come through that hole. Yes, you gotta be slim and fit. Well, let's look and see what they got up in here. Office space. More office space. Oh, look at this pretty room. Wow. Could be a conference area. But this is definitely the office. I like these floors. Oh, look at the kitchen. People, they got a kitchen to... Look at that range. It ain't a Viking, but it's close. And they got it built where they have fire suppression system on this sucker so if anything catches on fire they'll be able to put it out i bet this will be where they set up the tables i'm telling you they're going to have a good view out this way to see i believe that's an old folks village um i hate to say it like that because it's a, a care facility older people yeah, nursing I still yet to get a, a full interview with anybody about that but um this is the first look at the Rogersville fire department it's still getting built so I'd say it's right at about 90 I'd say 90 percent won't be long and firemen will be moving right in I bet they're going to keep it clean. Yeah, I bet they keep it clean. All right, there's a little mop room. There's another little mop room. It's got an outlet for washer and dryer. I bet that's where that'll go. That door takes you into the kitchen, I think. Let's look and see what this is. Look at them big doors. And I wish you'd look at that fan. That fan right there is going to save somebody a lot of money on heating and air. The Powerfoil X 3.0 is Big Ass Solutions' most robust industrial fan and the world leader in cooling power and versatility. Here's a brief look at what makes it so exceptional. The patented Nitro Seal Drive gearbox is built by Stober Drives specifically for Big Ass Solutions. This gearbox is over-engineered for the toughest environments and provides the perfect balance of power and efficiency. Time is money, so Big Ass Solutions designed the PFX 3.0 to minimize maintenance downtime. 
The fan features a C-Face motor mount. This allows technicians to access the motor without removing the fan. PFX 3.0 is designed to be the safest fan on the market. The fan features redundant safety mechanisms, such as retainer clips and 3 8 inch steel safety cables to ensure the fan stays safely mounted. When it comes to cooling power, PFX 3.0 packs a punch, utilizing a patented airfoil system, including air fences and optional plus winglets to help direct airflow where it's needed. In short, this thing moves a badass amount of air. Enough about brawn, what about brains? The wall-mounted SmartSense controller automatically adjusts the fan as seasonal conditions change. In summer mode, SmartSense speeds up the fan as the temperature rises to keep people cool, comfortable, and productive. In winter mode, SmartSense turns on PFX 3.0 when it detects a large temperature difference between the floor and ceiling. By recirculating hot air, which rises and becomes trapped at the ceiling, SmartSense can save users up to 30% on heating costs. With PowerFoil X 3.0, it's clear. Big Ass Solutions doesn't do things half-ass. They go big ass, which is precisely why there's no equal. That is one of them really nice fans. That fan is moving some air. Look, got a fan up in here. I bet you this is going to be like a little workout area. Overhead door for this, huh? I'd be interested to see if this is going to be a gym. I bet they're going to have some weights and some equipment up in there for them men to work out on. Let's take a look from the back side. Oh yeah, they're catching the water off of there and it's draining. It's going to have good drainage and they can come around. That's what's nice. They can drive the truck all the way around, ain't none of that backing in and having to do anything. They just drive straight in. They got that door evidently, they don't want to raise it or open it. All right, I thought I'd show you the first look at Rogersville. I got an alternative motive for meeting these guys because I got a comment from one of my viewers that said some of the best people to get to go against the city or metropolitan area for 5G is firemen because it's been proven that they've been able to stop it, have them taken off the poles, especially when they was really close to the fire department. And so that's what, I, you know, that's what I want to do when I talk to them and they get set up is to show them how close these are, uh, which ain't none right in front of, right in front of here. There's not none here, but they, hey man, good. But they're down the road and uh, once they see them, how many there are around Rogersville, maybe they'll realize that uh, they want to help me prove or disprove if it's harmful or what. All right, I gotta finish this ride. <laughs>